starts. All right, tubes. I got everything done. I went ahead and uh, there are the old plugs still in there. I went ahead and snugged them in. This is how much clearance you got without that uh, mat. The mat's torn off. But you can see how good these junkyard uh, inner fenders look. This is the good side, but anyway. Tops all back together. No leaks or anything. Uh, got no leak, little one. And I'll show you where that is. That's all back together. It ain't the right battery, but it does run. It sounds pretty good. The only leak is where I was telling you guys before. See on top the oil filter that's got that uh, extra housing and goes up front. It's leaking in them gaskets. What did I change? I got the new bolts. I had to go to. Uh, I could have got them online, but I pay. I guess the same price I got them in Napa. And I tighten these up and everything. Uh, this one right here, it's actually a trick to it. You, what you can do is take uh, your spark plug socket, set it in there, and then take a three-quarter inch wrench and put it in there and tighten that. Because you can't get a ratchet on that one. It's got a little leak up here on the uh, power steering. I can hear that whining. But here's how this one turned out. You can see the welds are look like crap but it looks pretty good under here uh everything's back together under here uh i'll start it up for you but i won't let it run long because it needs gas it's very low on gas um the temperature was going up it went up to like 2 210 i shut it off i was trying to i didn't get i didn't get the uh, lines bleated i didn't get no codes or anything i still got to fix this little chip here so, we'll go ahead and, I know this ain't the right way, you shouldn't even have a battery starting it this way, but it works. Put that on there. They're working on the road out here today. You can hear everything. I was, try, I was trying to see if the AC worked. The AC did somewhat work. You can see how quiet it is. Looks like it's, it's got a little shake in it, but it's something bad. Hers like getting. This motor's got a brand new timing chain in it. Uh, oil pan, oil pan gasket. A couple things. Uh, I don't, uh, brand new uh, motor mounts I put on it. Now you can hear the exhaust leak over here. It's back here. It looks like it, it's running a little rough. Because they're old plugs. Which, you've seen what I did. I put them plugs through, you know what. I was putting uh, wool and stuff in there, but... See, that sounds like... It might be this, but it's, I thought it was the, the other one. Uh, i try to show you a leak if it starts leaking. Yeah, it's starting to leak. I don't know how good you can see it, but it, let me see if I can zoom in. There you see it, where it's leaking. So I gotta change that gas and change them out. Well, other than that, it runs good. But I, that's why I said I don't run it too much. You can see how low it is on gas. The temp. And I put a brand new uh, air filter in it. I put a new uh, thermostat in it. The heat's actually working now. It didn't work a while ago. So that's good. The heat's working. Try the AC, guys. I tried it and it seemed like it somewhat worked. It ain't real hot, but it ain't real cold neither. Might need charged. No lights on. It says uh gate jar. So seems like everything's working up. Uh, we got four uh fourteen volts and 
Also in 60 pounds of oil pressure. In 60 pounds of oil pressure, no one got that oil leak, that's good. I forgot how to turn this radio on. i show you the radio. It did work before. Uh, I'm just too dumb to figure it out. Ah! I'm trying to let it warm up a little bit to see if the, everything's working too. Let's see. It says on off. I don't know it. Huh. It's got detachable face in this thing. I know you guys are looking at me and laughing right now. But I can't figure out how to turn the radio on. I'd be laughing too. Someone's trying to call me. I know it ain't my uncle or anybody. They ain't my sister, so. Well, I don't know. The radio does work. Let's see. Uh, let's try the AC, I mean, the heater again. Yeah, heat's working good, guys. Alright, so let me know what you think. It's got... The motor I got had a hundred and... Roughly 140,000, and the truck's got 153.787 on it. And transmission and everything seemed to be good, so I don't want to spin it. I got my tires on, but you can hear it kicking in. So we're good. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hope to have, hope to take it around here and test it and make sure it runs good and definitely overheats some brakes. Then we're gonna start lowering it, guys. We're gonna lower the poop out of it, and I'll show you everything as I'm doing it. Go out here and make sure ain't nothing bullying. A while ago, it was uh, I didn't have enough water and I could hear bullying a little bit. Everything looks good. Alright, thanks for watching. Till later.